Hey everybody and welcome to another video. Before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you very much to everybody who subscribed. It still astounds me how many people are interested in seeing my content. If you haven't yet done so, feel free to jump over and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification icon so you know when I've uploaded some new content, and give us a thumbs up on this video. Let me know what you think in the comments if you want me to cover any topics. I'm always happy to hear your suggestions. Also, of course, a huge shout out to everybody who subscribed to me on Subscribestar. It's um, just awesome. Thank you ever so much. So in this video, we're going to follow on from where we left off with our little sublocation routine. And what we need to do in this video is we need to make those sublocations visitable places, which means that we need to make some minor tweaks to our existing code and add a little bit more. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually be able to travel to those locations. So what we did in the last video was we created a frame which just filled with text. So what we need to do is we need to turn this text into a text button. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to button, if we can remember how to spell button. And we're going to put text in it like that. And then what we need to do is we need to give it an action set variable location. We need to put this into location like that. And then we're going to set it as Q dot name like so. And now that we've done that, what we need to do is we need to come back into our script uh, file and we need to change this so we need to say uh, we're going to say visit sub location we're going to change that to two words hyphenated of course without capitals let's try and keep it grammatically correct and then we're going to do location equals renpy.call underscore screen and we're going to pull up our sub location up there and we're going to put it into layer we're going to put it in the screens layer again like so oh, we need to put an equals in there silly me like that so we come back to our sub location thing and actually what we need to do is we don't need to do set variable at all what we do is return and we're simply going to return q dot name so now when we run this code assuming that we've remembered to save it So we say visit sub location and now we can choose one of these like that. And as you can see, I've already downloaded images which will allow us to um, show the image that is in the background. And if we do that again, we can change to our kitchen, do that again, go to our bedroom again, do it again. We can go to Thunderbolt's playroom. Oh, there you go. List indices must be integers, not variables. And what we can see is happening there is because now there's image buttons in that, but we've got a choice menu up at the same time, it's throwing up a hissy fit. So what we want to do is we want to take away the sublocation screen from our say screen so that it only appears once we've selected. So we get rid of that like so. And now when we launch the game, we run it. And you can see that that's not there. It only appears when we've actually selected to visit a sub location like so. And the only reason we're having to do that in this code is because we've got this choice menu up all the time. If we didn't have the choice menu all the time, we could have a little display like we did before that would allow us to freely change location and then have the choice menu come up when we selected a button. So it's kind of an either or situation with this. The two clash and would cause problems. 
And that's really all there is to it in this case. It's, um, it's as you can see, it's drawing the location perfectly fine. It knows where we are, and it allows us now to open the map. We can go say to the shop. We visit sub location, and of course there are no sub locations, so we would have to sort that code out so that there would be a button to say exit at the bottom of the sub location menu, which we can do easily enough. We can do that now. Let's just jump out of the game code here. We come back to our sub location screen, and then we're in our V box. Oh, we don't want to take that away. Inside our V box, we want to now add a new button. And we're going to say exit. In fact, we might do a new line, a couple of new lines like that, backslash n exit, and then put action return. Or we could just say, yeah, we'll say return, return location. Just return the value that the uh, location that we are already in. And then that should resolve that issue. There you go. Problem solved. So if we go to a location that doesn't have any sub locations in it, visit sub location, we've still got an exit button to allow us to get out. And there we go. Problem solved. Hope you found this video useful. I look forward to hearing your comments. Give me a thumbs up, etc. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.